Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. We have reported on gun thefts from unlocked cars before, and now the city of Savannah is actually trying something new to curb the problem. Celine Arif joins us in studio to explain. Well, city leaders in Savannah passed a new ordinance this month that requires you to lock your car if you have a gun stored in there. It may seem like common sense, but gun theft is a big problem across the country. The FBI reports that on, aver on average, at least one gun, one gun is stolen from a car every 15 minutes. You got to be safe. You got to protect that firearm from whomever doesn't need to be grabbing at kids, bad guys, whatever. Camp Dowling with Eagle Gun Range said they ask all of their customers this one question. Every sale we make, we say, how are you going to protect this? How are you going to keep it safe? Do you have a good storage locker? Do you have a safe to put it in? Some safes like this one for the home can be bolted to a wall, but if you store your gun in a car, Dowling recommends something like this. You have to have a hatchet and an ax to get into it. It's got a wire that you can wire it to the to something, wire it to a big chest of drawers or something. They'd have to steal the whole works in order to get into it. He said just leaving your gun under the car seat isn't safe enough. Make them have to work for it. If they're gonna, gonna steal it from you, make them work for it, which takes time which hopefully your alarm is going off in your car and they don't take the time to break these wires or whatever to get into it. No neighborhood. Ronald Brainard with the Houston County Sheriff's Office said gun thefts from cars are a serious problem. You know, obviously thieves like quiet times and they'll come, they'll start at one end of a neighborhood and they'll work the entire neighborhood over a half hour, hour period of time. He said they're often organized groups going around checking car doors and if it's a minor stealing the gun, it's hard to ever find it again. A juvenile can't go into a pawn shop and, and pawn a piece of property like that. So one of the issues that we have as law enforcement is it's it's hard to track a gun when it stays kind of underground. Now the biggest takeaway he said is don't leave your guns in your car overnight and if you absolutely have to keep it in a safe and double check that the car door is locked back to you Frank. All right, thanks, Aline. Captain Reynard also says it's important to not let your guard down just because you live in a safe neighborhood. That doesn't mean that gun thefts can't happen there.